Hey, hi friends, welcome back to Baho Automation Lab once again. In this online video session, we'll try to learn how to handle native Android keyboard events and applications using Android press key method. This is a small topic guys, but it's really useful and uh, very important while working with the APM automation uh, in real time environment. So watch this video very carefully till the end. You can learn lots of new things in this, okay? So let's go to the Eclipse and uh, here I have already created uh, one package like a com.apm device actions using key events and uh, we have created one key event class in this package. Okay, so I'm not going to explain you again and again how to create these packages and how to create these classes and everything we have already explained so many times in previous videos. So here, uh, I'll just give this simple brief introduction about this code. So in before test, we are starting APM server programmatically, which is what we have already seen in previous videos. And if you are not watch that video, watch that video in the playlist and then come to here. And also how to start, stop, and uh, how to start, uh, stop APM server in the after test. Okay. If server is still running, then we can stop the service. So in before test, we have written this code and uh, we are published statically mentioned this path, uh, which is important for uh, start to start EPM server. And uh, we have set some desired capabilities in, in our test method, like uh, desired capability cap dot set capability mobile type platform. And uh, we are launching, launching this uh, API demo app uh, from this device uh, using this capabilities like uh, activity name and package name and the device name we have set up here and also set up this android driver uh, hub path right okay so let's we have already done some actions like uh, a click on the view section and uh, scroll down we have seen how to scroll uh, till the element in previous video okay through this method we have we can will scroll still search view element after that, click on that search view and actions bar and we are click on this something search item. Okay. I'll just run this program and show you what we have done till time. Okay. So APM server is starting program programmatically when we are, uh, will run this program using test ng test. APM server started programmatically. All the logs are coming here. It should be launched API demo app in this device. The API demo app launched successfully. We are we should be click on this view section first of all. After launching, it will be wait for some time. Okay, it's clicked on view. After that, it should be to scroll till search view section. And after that, it will click on that search view section. Perfect. It's scrolling. Yeah, it's find search view section and it's click on that search view section. After that, it should be click on that action bar. Perfect. And after that, it should be click on that search section. Okay. And then keyboard is open. Okay. Now, our stop, today's topic will start. It automatically end your session and drive it quit and uh, stop your APM servers. Okay. So, today's topic is we need to handle some keyboard actions okay keyboard events and actions all those things so first of all it after click on this search section it it's open keyboard okay right from the device right so how do you check that key, our keyboard is open or not okay so for, for that we have one method called driver dot is keyboard show okay this uh, method will be written as um, whether our keyboard is shown on device or not. Okay, so I'll just put out uh, print out this in the system dot out dot print element so that uh, we'll get real a clear idea about our keyboard is shown on device or not. Okay, if keyboard is open, then it will be written true. Otherwise, it will return false. Okay, I will print it in red here because of to because to uh, we need to understand uh, all the logs are coming here in the black format so i'm just printing it in the red so that it immediately shown here okay after that what we need to do so first of all let's check some keyboard 
key events okay i need to send some information on that uh, particular text box okay for example i need to send some characters there so for we need to pass driver uh, check this method driver dot press key okay and we need to create a new instance for this so use a new keyword and then we need to pass a key events okay key event just pass key and uh, press control enter then you can show here if this key event uh, comes from io.apm.java client android native key key events okay so you need to take this one only not take this last one check this first option and set here key events and in this key event we need to pass what android key let's say android and then type android key dot let's say i need to pass a b c d whatever alphabet you, you need to pass you can pass it directly let's say i want to pass a okay after that if you want uh, to pass a b and c just paste here paste that same command here paste that same command and let's say i need to pass b after that let's say i need to pass c then we can simply uh, paste that command here and let's say pass, pass c if you want to use any other uh, other key events as well android key uh, key events let's say uh, after that i need to pass here a space so you can pass uh, space as well okay so what we have done here let's say i want to put some thread dots here so um, execution will be smoothly uh, shown to us let's say uh, five milliseconds wait after every this command okay and uh, okay let's say whether we are we need to pass there uh, uh, in the search box like a first of all a then b then space and then c okay let's run this program um, again and let's see whether we are able to search there with um, these four characters or not okay again apm server we need to start it programmatically we need to launch api demos app in this device and we need to do this all these actions API demo app launched successfully. Perfect. It should be click on view. It's, it's clicked on click on view. And that it should be scrolled till search view. Perfect. It's clicked on search view as well. Click on action bar. Now here click on the search box and it should be passed. Type here A. First of all, A. Perfect. B and space and C. Perfect. So this is the way how can we can uh, will able to pass the keyboard uh, characters in our search box. Now let's uh, let's understand. I need to uh, use some like um, Android. Uh, native applications as well okay let's say i i want to uh, i want to open some this contact list or i want to like uh, down our brightness i want to up uh, like up our brightness we can do all these stuff using these key events methods right so let's uh, check whether how to do that practically here so i'm just uh, like copying this code and paste it here Okay, and after that, here lots of lots of method uh, using this Android key. Uh, you can do whatever action you want to do on this device. Let's say I want to do uh, down brightness on this device. Okay, brightness down first. After that, let's say I want to increase that brightness again for this device. Okay, so I'll just copying this uh, code again here, and uh, let's paste it here. Okay, let's say I want to up brightness brightness up again okay and uh, after that let's say i want to open contacts uh, app which is already native app installed in this device so i want to open that up app again so i'll just paste in that code here again and uh, let's say i want to open that contacts app okay my contact list 
right uh, so and uh, if i want to come back to home again so let's say direct home okay so all these uh, events you can perform using this android key events and uh, press key method let's say whether we are able to uh, do all these steps like a brightness down brightness up contact list open and home screen uh, come back to home screen and all those things we are able to do practically or not okay i'm just running this code as a test and it has okay it should be uh, do all these actions practically i am putting here thread dot slip to understand you guys you don't put that thread dot slip it's not at all recommended to, sh to show all the executions practically and smoothly i am just uh, writing down this uh, thread dot slip okay so api demo app is open here okay should we click on the views after that it scroll should still search view yes perfectly it's scroll till search view after that it should be click on action bar and now search here a right perfect then b and space c perfect it should be this bright brightness is decrease and increase and it's it's open contact contact sir and it should become back to home right and uh, it's quite your driver so this is our how all the methods and you can handle through the uh, your press key method uh, and all these key events you can uh, handle uh, for your device like uh, whatever application you want to use like uh, whatever um, key events you want to perform and all those things you can you can check here so first of all we have printed here some like a uh, keyboard is open or not so it's it's current keyboard status is true here it's printed so let's say i want to put this message here like a current keyboard state current keyboard status is equal to let's say plus keyboard showing or not it should be oh, written true after that let's say uh, after click and after enter this c i want to hide that keyboard keyboard okay so you can use the command like driver dot hide keyboard okay this one and after that let's say again check for current status of keyboard so it should be hide our keyboard because Many time I need to send uh, use send keys only. I I don't want to use this key uh, key press events and all those things, uh, Android key events. That time we can hide that keyboard if it's open. Whenever this is the Android functionality, right? Whenever you click on any text box, it automatically open keyboard. But I don't want to use that keyboard. So you can simply um, type there dot dot hide keyboard. So it hide that keyboard and you can simply use the send keys method there, right? So it should be written here. Whenever keyboard open as a true, and when we uh, hide that keyboard, it should be written as a false. Okay. Now let's run this program and see whether we are able to uh, print this current keyboard state status after uh, hide the keyboard. Okay. First of all, APM server start programmatically. Before test code should be executed first then it will be launched api demo app in this device the api demo app launched successfully in this device and after that it should be click on the text view perfect this is the view section okay. and then it's scroll for the search view again Perfect. After that, it should be click on that search action bar and then click on that search section, right? And it's type A, first of all, then B, then space, then C. Perfect. And it's hide keyboard. Perfect. It's hide keyboard is false printed here. Okay. Then brightness down, up, 
and uh, contact context uh, context is open and then home uh, is as usual showing and it's back to the home and uh, uh, all the states successfully uh, passed and we should check here whether we are printed after hide keyboard it's false right and uh, before after click on C, uh, but to enter the character it showing current keyboard status true and after that is false after hide key. so this all uh, the key events and uh, there are lots of uh, key events available here like uh, um, when you are uh, place here like key android key event dot just uh, just type here android key event at dot all these method you need to do practically by yourself like uh, how to break down lots of button back forward and uh, let's say you, if you have any audio or track playing on your device if you are using with real device then you can mm, close that media you can fast forward the next song next song pause that play that and there are lots many more method you, you can easily check on uh, here like uh, just press uh, android key and then uh, they will assist you what method ex uh, exactly or what key events you want to use here okay like uh, key down key up like left 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 right media track and uh, there are many more okay power on power off all lots of lots of functionality with with the native app uh, you can use it using this uh, key events and key press method okay so uh, my way uh, to you like you i just want to show you the some demo and examples uh, with the practical examples you need to practice for all these remaining uh, remaining events by yourself so that you can get a better idea how to use this key event uh, android key events in using this key press key method okay so do it practically all this method if you have any doubt related to this you can just simply comment out me i will give you the all the answer related to this guys okay so uh, in the next chapter we'll see one more interesting concept practically guys so let's meet in next chapter till time if you're not subscribed by automation lab don't forget to subscribe it also share this video to your colleagues your friends so that they can also learn the practically all this apm related and java related stuff okay so let's meet in the next chapter till time have a great day bye bye take care